Everybody, welcome to Coldplay Fix You Live with Billy Eilish and Phineas. I just messed up that intro, I'm doing it again. I love Fix You. Uh, it's a really sort of bittersweet song for me. It brings uh, weird memories um, and I love it for it. And always plays at, at, uh, at home. I love Billy Eilish, I love Phineas. Uh, we're gonna catch up later. I wanna jump straight into the groove. Thank you so much everybody, we're so happy to be here. Thank you for waiting all day and all the rigmarole it takes to come to a big show like this. We're so grateful. And uh, whoever's furthest at the back, we'll send this to you. And whoever's watching us furthest away from New York City, we send this to you too, from the band, from everybody here, one big band. Yeah. I'm in France, so yeah, pretty far. Don't try your best, but you don't succeed. Get what you want, but not what you need. When you feel so tired, but you can't sleep. Stuck in reverse When the tears come streaming down your face Cause you lose something you can't replace When you love someone but it goes Okay, right before we do welcome him though, uh, a couple notes. Uh, I like the little delay drone thing uh, at the beginning. I think that must be just Johnny messing around on the guitar, creating a loop. Maybe it's a, a track that they do play um, play on. I, I've never seen actually a modern Fix You performance, but yeah, I like the little changes they, they bring in. Even the lyrics change a bit. Uh, what could be worse instead of uh, could it be worse, I think. And uh, that's that you know that's a good way to do it. That's a good way uh, to not get bored of your own song after, uh, you know, 15 plus years at this point. And um, a good way to refresh it for uh, the audience as well. Yes. 
to say uh, a couple of points uh, it looked as though I was mo moving my mouse um, it was actually just uh, uh, hold on a second uh, it was actually actually it was just the base um, making the whole desk move so yeah I mean I like that a lot I like the song I like the artist I don't see how I could have not liked it I love how real it was like you, you can see there's a bunch of um, audio issues when Billy and Phineas come in there's some feedback and you can see that Chris sort of does this with the mic right he sings like this and when he has to sing louder he pulls it back Billy and Phineas are like this when they sing um, anytime and they just pull it really far away when they really uh, yell uh, so it's a different approach and it seems like maybe the mice were set up for Coldplay or some, something. I mean, when you do your own show, it's easier to have things set up properly before you go on stage. When you're a guest like that, sometimes things just go wrong and maybe there was just too much gain or maybe they don't have the same setup for the monitors on stage and stuff. It, it's really different. Like Coldplay is originally like a rock band, um, a pop rock band. It, it's different from you know, the specific uh, stuff that you can require when you're Billy Eilish and touring and stuff. Maybe they don't have much sound on stage. I digress, but yeah, I thought that was really cool that they just like, Phineas and Chris just kind of looked at each other and, and kept going, uh, acknowledging that something was going wrong, but not letting it uh, mess with their mojo too much. Uh, I like how <laughs> there was this one girl in the audience that just didn't, didn't want any part of this. You know, she was like, she was not impressed uh, stone faced. Um, I there's something funny vocally happening at the end with uh, Chris and Phineas trying to one up each other and stuff. Uh, I don't think that was necessarily super comfortable for them or something. Also, I would I would go a lot harder if I was uh, if I was dancing with Coldplay on stage or in the audience. I would dance a lot harder than uh, than Billy and Phineas. I mean, they were clearly just all having a really good time, but it's kind of funny. Uh, it, it, you know, it's kind of I'm getting a little tiny bit of a, a soccer mom um, vibe uh, at their dancing on stage you know what I mean it's like they're enjoying each other but they, they sort of don't fully uh, go for it but those drums though those drums push you to go for it I, yeah I, I, I've always loved the, the drums in the song in the outro because um, it's a very stereotypical thing. It's it's the kind of beat that you would uh, learn when you start drums. Maybe you learn something like um, but here it's it's kind of that, but it's played in a. The accents are uh, super like, you know, exaggerated like. It's 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 nuts. I I, I don't you know I haven't heard a lot of songs that actually express every accent this much on the drums like the drums take such a percussive um, nature I don't know how to explain it he, he just hits it so hard too um, that really makes the song to me you know because uh, this song is sort of a, um, what we talked about the concept of river songs of building up the tension uh, to arrive to this sort of climax stairway to heaven like thing where you just uh, the song is a process to get you here and um, it could be it wouldn't work as well if the drums were any uh, less energetic you know maybe the song would feel like sort of a long wait for not much but it really feels like it's worth the wait um i like this song a lot i think i'll be doing more of uh of uh, billy eilish phineas and coldplay uh Coldplay and Phineas uh, have an album coming up not together but they both have an album i think it drops on like the the same day and uh, we might talk about that. And we might talk about the Billy Eilish record. Let me know what to do next. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, controlling my PC with my laptop now. So there shouldn't be any dropped frames. 
maybe the audio is gonna, gonna be a little sus. I'm thinking the voice is maybe a little much compared to the song, but we're gonna um, fine tune this thing as we go, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks.